championship week. So only six games, but some more key matchups. And your two premier NBA handicappers here on the Spiz Grizz Network get you set for each and every one, at least four, before we get into college basketball. The more key matchup of the day is in Boston. The NBA's best team, the Celtics, host the Phoenix Suns. Six-point spread in favor of the Seas at home. 20, uh, 227 and a half is that over under of course boston the best team in the nba the only one to w- reach the 50 win benchmark so far they are 51 and 14 the nuggets the second closest with 46 boston has won three in a row they keep covering numbers laying six and a half at home tonight Let's see something here out of the Suns, right? You take a look at that opening number, minus four and a half points here for the hometown team, the Boston Celtics. That's quickly risen here at the yeah. FanDuel Sportsbook to a minus six. The total, however, opened up overnight 230 and a half. We've now seen that down to 227 and a half. The first things we always run to when we look at the Phoenix Suns, Ben, is what? Who is going to be in the anticipated starting lineup tonight? Booker, Beal, Allen, Durant, and Nurkic going up against Holiday White, Brown, Tatum, and Horford. I can't wait to see this play out, but also one of those guys not in the lineup here anticipated for the Celtics, Kristaps Porzingis. So I'm looking at this number for myself, and much like we saw it last night, plus three and a half points for the Miami Heat, you say to yourself, why well, better hope they win that game because that's hard to stay within three and a half points. A little bit different tonight for the Phoenix Suns getting six here. The big three is out there, should be able to make a statement yeah. in this game. I'm not calling for an outright win on the Suns, but you can't tell me they're not going to be competitive in the garden. This is a big ball game tonight, 7.30 p.m. Yeah. I think we do get points, big. but I'll take the six points with the Suns in this one. Let's go. The Kings, two straight victories at home in Sacramento the last two nights by 35 over Milwaukee two nights ago. Last night, winning by double digits as an underdog outright against the Lakers. The reason I bring up Sacramento, they are now 38 and 27. Same exact record for the Suns, but because of the tiebreakers at the moment, Sacramento in the sixth spot in the Western Conference out of the play-in tournament. Phoenix into that seventh spot inside the play-in tournament four at this time. Phoenix as an underdog this year, 7-10 and 10 against the spread. But when they cover as a dog, they often win outright six of those seven an outright victory. Boston, 51-14. and 14. At home, they're virtually unbeatable. They're 29-3. and three. The Celtics, of course, 11-game win streak. They covered in the final six of that 11-game win streak in a row. Then they dropped two straight. Now they've won three in a row once again. They have covered in all three victories. So Boston has covered in nine straight and allow me for a moment to highlight the total tonight agree with the market move 227 and a half from where it was in the overnight hours since the all-star break unders have been hitting at nearly a 63 percent clip phoenix and cleveland did go over in the sun's last game on the road earlier this week but that snapped a 10 game under streak for phoenix boston under in all three on this win streak as well if it has a playoff atmosphere i might lean under 227 and a half so we mentioned milwaukee on the road got shellacked by sacramento a couple of nights ago the bucks return home as an eight and a half point favorite against the philadelphia 76ers over under 220 tonight at the pfizer forum by the way, updates here on Joel Embiid. It looks like he's anticipated to be back. Obviously not tonight, but in the first week or so of April, which mm. means he'll be back in the lineup or anticipated being back in the lineup before the playoffs even begin. So a bit of good news here, but that doesn't necessarily help out the Philadelphia 76ers who got Tyrese Maxey back and still scored 79 points in the Garden in a blowout loss to the yeah. New York Knicks. Their anticipated starting lineup tonight on the road, Maxey, Lowry, Oubre, Harris, and Bamba. It doesn't set up all that well here as you take a look at the Milwaukee Bucks, Lillard, Beasley, Crowder, Anthony Kupo, and Lopez. Obviously a much, much better starting lineup here. The Bucks should win in a breeze, but the questions then come up. Last game we saw, Damian Lillard have a terrible effort. So what are we anticipating tonight against the Philadelphia Sixers? Probably a much better effort. Here's the issue that we have. Like, if we're looking at, you know, opening lines, opening numbers, it actually opened up as a a 9.5 point favorite here, down to 8.5 at the FanDuel Sportsbook, and a total 223.5 down to 220. The issues aren't really do you think the Milwaukee Bucks can score, but what's the game place going to be? Because the Philadelphia 76ers, over their last two games against the Knicks, 79 points and 79 points. It's really hard to take a total with the Philadelphia 76ers at this point now, so I would look towards the under in this game, but there's no way. You, yeah. I can't take the Sixers getting 8.5 on the road. I really can't do no. that, so it would be only Bucks for me, even though they didn't play well their last game out, and also maybe look at the under. I agree with that line movement.
Yeah, I agree with the under as well. Of course, Philadelphia not breaking 80 points in either of the two games played Ooh. in the last five days inside Madison Square Garden. DePaul even got close to that, I kid. They had 57 uh. points last night in the nightcap at MSG. Bad beat on that over. But for Milwaukee DRS, 7-3 and three since the All-Star break. Of course, they started on a six-game win streak. All six games stay under. They have covered in all seven of their wins. They have been under in seven of those 10. I would lean with the under as well here for the Bucks and the Sixers. Who? Oh, by the way, Philadelphia has been booked as a dog now in 12 of their last 18 games. They are both five and seven straight up and against the spread. They cover, they win outright. Don't expect them to do either tonight mm. in Milwaukee. Mm. Damian Lillard in, or consistently inconsistent. Points prop tonight, 24 and a half. Will Luka Doncic be out there tonight for Dallas? He left last night's game, a big victory at home by double digits over Golden State, midway through the fourth quarter with what Dallas was calling hamstring soreness. Second leg of a back-to-back now on the road for the Mavs. They head to Oklahoma City. Not the farthest bit of travel, but still a change of venue. The Thunder, 10.5 point favorite against Dallas. It feels as though, to me, Midwest matchup in Oklahoma, that this is the right number. Double digits in favor of OKC. It does. And also take a look at the overnight numbers here, Ben. Moving from a six and a half price here at the FanDuel Sportsbook all the way yeah. up to a ten and yep. a half price, which equates we're not expecting Luka Doncic to play. But also, you know what that tells me? I don't know if Kyrie Irving is going to play as well because this isn't that Luka Doncic got hurt two nights ago or felt that discomfort two nights ago and Kyrie didn't have to play yesterday. They both played yesterday. Now, they did win that basketball game, yeah. but this is what you take a look at sometimes early in the morning. What do you think they actually should do? I don't think Luka Doncic is going to play. So theoretically, if you're the Mavericks, you go, okay, I don't know how long we're going to be without Luka Doncic, but that means Kyrie Irving has to be on top of this game and healthy for us down the stretch. Does that make sense playing OKC? It's not as if you're going to play like Charlotte, right, and say, you know what, right. we can win this game if Kyrie's in there. I don't think they're going to win this game, and if you're the Dallas Mavericks, do you play this smart as a franchise and just say, you know what, we won last night, which is great. Let's give both of the guys a rest tonight, and it's a loss. That's what that 10 and a half tells me, and that 235 and a half total probably staying under as well because that opened at a 242 and a half. Things aren't looking good for the Mavericks, but this could all change miraculously with both your superstars of the Mavericks in the lineup getting 10 and a half points. You would love that. But this line indicator, this tells me that one, if not both, of the superstars in the Mavericks aren't playing tonight, Ben. Ah, look at that. Hey. Yeah, give me a little bit more action here. Give me a little bit more action because we were trying to break down this Mavericks OKC game. And that 10 and a half points, as I said, is probably an indicator that the two superstars certainly are going to be left out. We have the Clippers and the Bulls. And watch out for those Chicago Bulls right now. You take a look at them tonight in a matchup against the Clippers who didn't look great in their last performance. But how about this? A four and a half point favorite for the Clippers on the road. That turns into a six point favorite here on the road. Other outlets even showing as high as six and a half as a favorite towards the Clippers. The total in this game, no surprises here. You look at a 220 and a half on the overnight number. That's now down to a 215. If we're taking a look at the anticipated starting lineups in this ballgame tonight for the Clippers, Harden, Man, George, Leonard, and Zubac, which is interesting because we did see Kawhi Leonard lead the game early just a few nights ago. Looks like he's due to be playing tonight. And back in the fold, as you look at the Clippers trying to make their ascent here to the top of the Western Conference standings, they're going to need to beat the Bulls. And the Bulls, Dasunmu, Caruso, DeRozan, Craig, and Vucevic expected in the starting lineup for them tonight. 